Hello, Space Coast. Welcome to the News in 90 Seconds. I'm Rob Landers bringing you some of today's top local stories. SpaceX proposes to expand its Roberts Roads operations area within Kennedy Space Center, upgrade the utilities, and widen Saturn Causeway to support vehicle transport to and from launch facilities. But that comes at an environmental cost of some wetlands and scrub habitat. NASA has spelled out those impacts in a 231-page report required under federal law. You can learn more about the expansion plan, its impact, and how long you have to weigh in on the expansion online now at floridatoday.com. And on the topic of space, Space Florida's Board of Directors has unanimously approved an employment contract offering a $350,000 annual salary to retired U.S. Space Force Colonel Robert Long, who is slated to start work in two weeks as the organization's next president and CEO. Long will replace the retiring Frank DeBello, who has led Space Florida since May 2009. Read more in Rick Neal's story on floridatoday.com. A 38-year-old Cape Canaveral motorcyclist was killed in a traffic crash involving a pickup truck early Sunday in Cocoa Beach. It was the 24th fatal crash involving a motorcycle reported in Brevard County since January record show. Reporter J.D. Gallup has all the details in his story on floridatoday.com. This week, Susie Fleming Leonard shares a poignant tribute to one of Brevard's most philanthropic women, Susie Wasden, and the tremendous toll Alzheimer's disease has taken on her, her family, and her work in the community. Read the full story on floridatoday.com. Not yet a subscriber? Unlock unlimited digital access to your best source for news and information on the Space Coast. Visit floridatoday.com slash subscribe. And that's 90 seconds. Thanks for watching.